So how are we going to optimize this and uh, you know kind of uh, not have these uh, additional banks as well? Uh, see the idea here would be again to have a code which deletes these before anything is pasted. So if I select materials the first step should be to delete all these things. So if I actually go back to the code I'll show you what I actually want. So I want some code here which should delete these cells first and then, then proceed to the other things, right? So this is what I want across all the clicks, right? So before I paste a software list, you know, it should delete the original or the old list. So that's the first step. So how do we go about, you know, having that code here? So again, as we do it for other set of things, the first thing is to record macro and take help from Excel so that it can bless us with the code. And number two is to logically manipulate if required. So as we have seen, these approaches are working well with us uh, for the other set of things which we were doing. I guess this should also work for us. So what is the whole approach like? Record and then logically manipulate. So let's do that here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to developers tab and create a temporary macro which gives us this code. Uh, I'll go to record and uh, write this as temp because this is a temporary code which I am actually making. And what do I want here? I want that all the things which are there in this sheet delete it. So that's what I have done. I've selected on the top hand uh, left hand corner and uh, I'll just press my keyboard delete to delete everything which is there on this worksheet. Okay, so this is the, this is the small step or the small macro which I wanted to see and then next step is to look at the code and borrow that code. So in order to access that code alt F8 or macros and this is the code which we are talking about. This is the temp code and I'll go to edit to look into this code. So what does this code says? Code says cells.select and selection.clear content. A very easy code. It cells.select is uh, probably associated with selecting this full cells and selection.clear content is clear everything. So we will introduce this uh, here as such. Okay. So I'll copy this code and uh, I'll go back to my data filter sheet where my other codes are uh, enabled. So this is where I will paste it, right? So I'll paste this code everywhere. So uh, when we click on banks, right? As we did for the others, we had said that, okay, select sheet one first and do other tasks, right? So here we are saying that cells.select and selection.clear content, we should also tell the uh, code that which sheet are we talking about here we were talking about sheet one here we were talking about data filter sheet so likewise we must tell the computer that this is the data filter sheet which we are talking about whose content needs to be deleted before you proceed so this is the whole code which should actually serve the purpose okay so um, I'm actually copying this code from banks to other places as well and hoping that this code will run for materials for softwares as well as for utilities so uh, let's see if this uh, code actually works I'll click on um, the Excel sheet go back and click on banks so banks looks fine what about materials materials is obviously okay softwares utilities so can you see that if I'm clicking on banks this is there's a list of seven banks but the moment I click on materials the first step is to delete this uh, whole list of banks and then paste materials this code works in a beautiful fashion so that's how we go about you know ed uh, kind of updating customizing and upgrading our macro so I hope you learned how to filter the data and uh, kind of manipulate the code here